Hello, everybody, and welcome to NASCAR Sprint Cup Series Garage Cam presented by Mobile One. Today, from Las Vegas, Nevada, the Neon Garage, I'm your host, Matthew Dillner, bringing you a behind the scenes, all access tour, raw, live, uncut in the NASCAR Garage. Oh, what a great day. And we got an interesting large garage here. You see all the fans up there, kind of a skywalk deal. What a unique setup here in Las Vegas as we look at Cole Witz. Speed stick gear, number 26. Man, this team yesterday showing their stuff. Test session yesterday, if you haven't seen it, for the NASCAR Spring Cup Series with this new rules package. And this guy was on top of the board for quite some time. Ended up top five on the board. Good job, Cole Witt. Lewis D. Donato, you were the first one in the interactive garage. As we look at Landon Castle's number 40 Inspire car right here. Oh, that sound will wake you up. Justin Allgaier's Brent, number 51 in the garage area, hoping to rebound from a really tough start to the season for this number 51 team. A lot of talented people on this team, of course. Justin Allgaier, a talented race car driver too. Hey, welcome back to the NASCAR garage for Timmy Hill, making his first start this year. Just spoke to Timmy a short while ago and uh, He's going to have a little penalty to start practice, a little news for you right there. Uh, Timmy telling us that he's going to have to get in the car, get in line, get out there on pit road, and sit for 15 minutes. NASCAR kind of giving him a penalty for something the team did last week in Phoenix. So interesting start to the weekend for Timmy Hill. Travis Quapple's car right here, the number 32, the Frankie Stoddard entry. Kyle Larson, the number 42. The impressive rookie, still finding his way. And there is Timmy Hill. Hey, check it out, it's Timmy Hill. Timmy Hill, welcome back to the NASCAR Garage and Garage Cam. How you doing, buddy? Hey, thanks for having me back, guys. I'm, I'm glad to be back, uh, for one. Uh, we got a really good car. During the, the test day yesterday, we. Uh, I felt like a really solid session. I haven't been in the car since November in Phoenix. So uh, we ended up 36 on the board, which is very respectful for us. Uh, we still have a few things to gain on. We only made one qualifying run yesterday. So uh, today we got a lot more to gain and uh, hopefully it'll be a good weekend for us. You gotta wait a little bit though. It's kind of a hurry and up and wait deal to start your practice, but still looking forward to get back on the track. Yeah, for sure I am. Uh, we just got a, a small 15 minute penalty from NASCAR. Uh, to assess right away for practice, so uh, our practice is a little bit shortened, but so we'll be all right. All right, Timmy Hill, welcome back to the garage. Good to see you. Timmy Hill, back here in the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series. Last year, he piloted the 32 car over here for Frankie Stoddard Motorsports. There's a guy who's had a tough start to the season. Kurt Busch, this Haas Automation CNC. Stuart Haas Racing Machine. Let's see, Carol McGlynn. Vroom, 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 why it's Fast Friday, folks. Woo, woo. Oh, you gotta love the charged up fans here in Garage Cam. And there's a driver that's a little charged up too on some Dr. Pepper. It's Alex Bowman. Talked to him yesterday during the test session, really promising all the things they got going on with that 23 bunch this season. Young Alex Bowman, another one of the impressive rookies so far. David Reagan, the number 34 machine right here. And then we could skip on over because his teammate is over here. And that is the uh, loves number 38 of David Gillen. And D. Gilly, hey, there's D. Gilly. He's coming right up here. What's up, D. Gilly? Let's, let's walk in here so we can hear you. It's a little loud here in the garage area, folks. So, But we're going to walk in here and have David Gillen on Garage Cam. Hey, uh, an interesting off week between Phoenix and here. You didn't go home. Tell the fans what you did. Yeah, we didn't go home. We. Uh... We stayed out here and went and hiked the Grand Canyon. So it was, it was an adventure. My legs are still feeling it today. I got up out of bed uh, this morning, turned the air down, and I had to like straight leg it all the way over there, man. My calves were just locked down. So it was fun. It was my first time hiking, and so it was it was a lot of fun. So so you uh, hiked, but where did you stay? We stayed in a in a tent, and uh, you know, out of our sleeping bag down down by the Colorado River, and then we came about two thirds of the way up, and then hiked, found a flat place, and and uh, kicked it and hiked right there. So it was it was funny. I, the funniest part of the whole thing was me going into REI when we landed in Phoenix. 
without a single piece of gear that I needed and going in there and asking the guy, hey, you know, I'm, I'm gonna hike the Grand Canyon, you know, I, I need I need some stuff. And he's like, well, what trail are you on? I'm like, I don't know. What, <laughs> what trail are you gonna come up? Where are you gonna camp? What are you gonna, I'm like, I don't know. I just need everything. So uh, it was funny, about $2,000 later and about 45 pounds on my back, we had what we needed, but. So you gotta work out but it, oh, did yeah. you see any creatures? Any, uh, or were you scared no, that there no, were creatures no. oh, out there? Yeah, heck yeah, it was my first time <laughs> sleeping in a tent. It's not when it's dark and you're in a tent all by yourself out in the middle of the out in the middle of nowhere. It's uh, it's kind of crazy, but uh, but I had a good time. I enjoyed it. I will do it again for sure. But uh, probably, if I had any advice for somebody, probably the Grand Canyon on the the hardest trails there are out there probably wouldn't be a. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it as your first time. Big weekend here, of course. First weekend with the new rules package. Had a test yesterday, your thoughts so far? You know, our test, um, I was hoping to be a little closer than we were. Um, we tried a couple different packages and uh, we, we hadn't tested on a, on a big track with a new rule package yet. So um, we're, we're a little bit behind, but felt like right at the end of the day, we made some strides. And so I'm really anxious to uh, to get out get out there today and then see what we have. So we got Love's Travel Stops back on board. And I think the car looks great and uh, really, really proud to have them guys, uh, you know, as, uh, as a partner with Front Row Motorsports, it's been really good, and uh, hopefully we can turn that into more. So we'll know more today. I think that the new qualifying format on the mile and a half stuff, me kind of removed as a driver and, and kind of as a, as a fan of the sport, I'm, I'm anxious to see it, uh, see it play out on a track like this. All right, David Gillen, thanks a lot for joining us on NASCAR.com. Garage Cam, always gracious. And there is that number 38, Love's Travel Center. Beautiful car right there. We turn here. Hey, there's an empty garage stall. But hey, right over here, Josh Wise on board this number 98 machine this week with Ambient Edge on board as a sponsor for this number 98 machine. Good to see, of course. Ravis, or I don't know if it's Travis, but it might be Ravis. Ravis Geyer, 25. Go Dale Jr. I love Garage Cam. Makes the second half of the day go much, much quicker. You must be on the East Coast, brother. <laughs> Welcome to Garage Cam. Here is the number 78 car for all you Martin Truex Jr. fans. Hey, come on, let's let them hear some. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, send the bill for the microphone. Oh, wake up, folks, wake up. If you're on the West Coast, you might still be sleeping. Hey, it's p Click. Parker Kligerman. Let's go check this guy out. P. Click, you got the busy crew here working in a, a test day yesterday as I'm about to trip over a jack stand here. Thanks, buddy. Over here. Um, so how was the test session yesterday? How's everything uh, going? It went well. We were really fast. Uh, on the, there was two types of tires. I don't even know if we're allowed to talk about it, but I don't care. There was two types of tires. Some were older and some were newer. And on the new tires, we were really fast because the tires will run the rest of the weekend. On the old tires, a lot of people are losing five tenths, six tenths. We were losing like six or seven tenths, and that's all we had. So once we got the car really good, we had no more good tires. So, so well, you enjoying uh, Vegas looking, so I'm far? I'm uh, optimistic for today. Are you enjoying Vegas so far? Have you been like a good boy and in bed at 8 o'clock every night? You know what? I actually kind of have. Yeah. I, I only went out really one night, and then I kind of gambled the other two nights, lost everything. So so just sit at home and watch movies? I, I, uh, I just hate being here this long. I think anything over three days is too much, and being here a week is just way too much. I'm, I'm, I can't wait to uh, race and get continue racing that few days and then get home. All right, B Click. Nice to join. Thanks for joining us. Parker Kligerman, the number 30 machine. And we got to skip along because we have a lot of garage to cover. This garage is in the shape of, well, I don't know. If you see an aerial, I don't know if it's a diamond, an octagon. So we have a lot of ground to cover here on NASCAR.com Garage Cam. So we're going to do our best fast walk. So if the big old boy here, Matthew Dillner, is a little out of breath, hey, don't judge. Already talked to a few drivers, and there's Michael Annette's number seven machine being rolled in. And a new paint scheme. We'll take a look at Danica Patrick's new paint scheme for this weekend for all you Danica fans. Here's a guy who put forth a great effort yesterday, Trevor Bain and this Wood Brothers Ford team. There is the new paint scheme, the Af Af Aspen Dental number 10 for Danica Patrick. Danica in her new suit. 
right there. Talking with crew members. There's the number 21 machine of Trevor Bain. Running really strong yesterday in the test session. We're going to cut through some garages. Some cars already being pushed out. I think these are some of the cars that have gone through, that are going through tech. This one right here that's supposed to be here, Jeff Burton's number 66 machine, welcoming the mayor back to the garage area. Jeff Burton, who has two wins here at Las Vegas under his belt. Great to see Jeff Burton back and great to see Blake Cook back in this number 35 MDS machine. Joe Nemechek back over in the 87 this week. And McGregor, wish we had some scratch and sniff to get the smells of racing. Hey, technology has come a long way, Miss McGregor, and, and I'm hoping that that's the next thing. NASCAR.com scientists are hard at work at that right now. Dave Blaney, the number 77, started the season really tough. The 77 group trying to rebound. The extreme racing car is not here. Oh, man, hopefully we can see some of these cars. I know some people said on Twitter the extreme racing car, J.J. Yelly making his return to the series. We just saw him walk by about five minutes before garage cam. And uh, J.J. Yelly, that 44, a beautiful car. Hopefully we can show you that. Some of these cars rolling through tech right now, so it's going to be hard to see them the way this garage is uh, laid out. We will do our best. We work hard for you guys to show you every car every week, and sometimes we can't get it done. Well, garage cam is random. I just have to say, is that like the pink ones, the female Porter Johns? There's pink, there's green, there's orange. I wonder what the color coding is about. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> here's the long trip where we need theme music to get to the other side of the garage area. And you see this security guard through there. The neon garage, a big stage with some rocking music. Oh, I think there was a, a wedding. Oh, I think there's a wedding. I think we have a bride. Oh, somebody just got married at Las Vegas Speedway. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> oh, there's people doing hula hoops in there and all sorts of things. If you're a fan, you got to check this place out. It is different. Hey, it is Las Vegas, baby. I'd say, as they'd say on Entourage, Vegas, baby, Vegas. <laughs> Here we are to almost the main side of the garage. And here is the number 55 car of Brian Vickers. A second car rolled out. This crew working hard on this car. They already got some track time with it yesterday. But Brian Vickers making contact with the wall yesterday in the test session. Didn't look that bad, but obviously the team thought it was bad enough to roll out a backup car for this 55. And Brian Vickers here. A little behind the eight ball at the start of the weekend this weekend, but this team will be down. Here's a guy who's got a tense weekend. Not because of anything on track, but Paul Menard. His wife expecting a baby. Yesterday, Matt Crafton, NASCAR Camping World Truck Series driver, here, strapping into this car along with Paul Menard to take some laps because he'll be on standby in case Paul has to hop on a plane and head back home for the birth of his first child Crafton yesterday said he was really excited to get behind the wheel, and I'll tell you what, they ran good. They, were, they weren't that high on the speed charts, but they did have the best 10-lap average in this number 27 car. Lori Borowski, pink girl, pink, the pink, oh, the Porter Johns, pink's the girl, the green, <laughs> who and pee, and the orange, just pee. Well, hey, thank you very much. I, I'm educated now on Porter John color co coding. The <laughs> number 15, is this show going to the toilet or what? <laughs> Hey, there's the number 15. It's loud in the garage area. You see this guy right here? Hold on. Oh, he was holding his ears. It's loud. Cars are tuning in their engines right now. See? <laughs> Flint Boyers, five-hour energy machine. The number 43 right here of Eric Amarola. The 47 of A.J. Amendinger. Check out this Amendinger machine. Oh, look at 
look at this. Look at the sponsorship on here. I, I wonder what's going on here. We got a basketball sponsorship. What is that? It's, oh no, did I say basketball? Soccer, soccer. Well, you know, I'm a racing guy. You know, KP, MD, we don't like, uh, you know, yeah, it's football, football, which is soccer. There is the number 47, AJ Amendinger machine. The Scott's products machine. Man, the action is picking up here in the garage area. We'll show you real quick over here, Reed Sorensen, the number 36 machine. Let me get tire guy, SJ over there, and Shane working on the front end. Some good guys here with Tommy Baldwin Racing coming aboard this year with this new group, including Todd Parrott right here, leading the gang in this number 36 machine. Kind of a whole new look team here for Tommy Baldwin Racing. show you out here. Uh, there's Nelson, Tony Stewart's dad. And here comes this number 14 team, rolling the mobile one, 14 of Tony Stewart. See some requests in the chat room for Tony Stewart as they roll this machine in. Of course, they back these cars into the stall, so that way, for the beginning of practice, the drivers could just pull on out. Sam Campbell says, go smoke. That's awesome, and guess what? Jeff Meenering is here. What's up, Jeff Meenery? Uh, the car chief here on the number 14. And we want to ask you this week's Mobile One Auto Tech question of the week. Of course, this is the first weekend that we have this new rule package. We tested yesterday, practices the whole weekend. How important is this weekend to get the setup straight for these 1.5 mile ovals that you know are so important going forward? It's real important. We, our first race is Daytona, so that was still last year's rule package. So it didn't really change things a whole lot. But and uh, last week was, was Phoenix, it was a short track, it's kind of a one-off track, smooth. And then, uh, now, they, now we're doing intermediate track, more of a common track. So I think, uh, I think we need to get a handle on it here so we can move, keep improving, tweaking on things as we go at, at these, these style tracks. And you know there's so many of these 1.5 mile, mile ovals, so it really kind of sets the tone for the, for the whole year almost. Yeah, definitely does. Um, yeah, we, you'd be shooting in the dark if you're, if you're missing it here. A lot of teams will be up on you at the, at the next ones. All right, Jeff Meadery, thanks a lot for uh, presenting our answer for our Mobile One Tech Question, Auto Tech Question of the Week, presented by Mobile One Garage Cam, and this is Tony Stewart's Mobile One number 14. Let's show you the rest of the garage area here. you got to thank Jeff Meadery. It's great to get some of these crew guys that don't always get TV time to answer some great questions and to talk to. We like to not just talk to drivers, we like to c talk to crew guys, we like to see PR people. Hi, everybody in the sports garage cam. We introduce you to everybody. And there's Casey Kane's Farmers number five. We can't pass by the Farmers five without showing you. And there's Marcus Ambrose's number nine machine. Casey Kane can fan forever. Wants to see Casey Kane and Carl Edwards. Well, there you go. You got your wish. Hey, you know what? Check this guy out. Getting a picture by, from Miss Sprint Cup. It's Austin Dillon here in the Cheerios machine. You got the new colors this week. Yeah. Looks pretty good. I like the yellow and black. It looks good. You blasted out a pretty fast lap yesterday. How did you like your rocket ship yesterday? Or what? I really liked it. Hopefully it, uh, it works as good as it did yesterday today. All right, Austin Dillon right here. The Cheerios car walking by, the Cheerios driver. Hey, it's Miss Sprint Cup. Hi. How you doing, Miss Madison? We're live on Garage Cam. We are live on Garage Cam, and this is so cool. You get to see airplanes taking off, and yeah. such a unique place, isn't it? It is. You know, Neon Garage, I was just talking about it earlier. It's so cool because the fans can watch down here what's going on, and I just think that's so awesome. And this is all new for you. It so is. every track is kind of exciting. It is. It's all very exciting. First time to Vegas. Living it up, haven't gambled yet. But I gotta go run and take some pictures. All right, you can All follow right. those pictures I'll on at Miss Sprint Cup. They always post some interesting stuff. The drivers like to pose 
for Miss Sprint Cup. And of course, you can check out Inside Access, Miss Sprint Cup on NASCAR.com. We just posted our first video of the year. Meet Miss Madison, the lady we just introduced you to. Check out the video so you can meet her a little more in depth. Have a little fun with her, of course. Here's the number 31 Cheerios machine. Let's give you a look at this machine. Oh, beautiful Chevrolet right here. Yellow and black, gorgeous. And for all you Austin Dillon fans, here's the office of the young rookie, the butler built seat, Momo steering wheel right there. Cheerios, helmet. That steering wheel, very nice steering wheel. Uh, actually, uh, Max Pappas was walking around yesterday uh, showing some people some new steering wheels for Momo and uh, how lightweight they are. Unbelievable. Weight is everything in race cars. Ryan Newman, the number 31. Damian Beam. I think I like this show, he says. Hey, Damian Beam, I think I like you. Thank you for joining. That's awesome. I like this show, too. I'm blessed to be able to do it. Oh, we got some more. Blaine Smitty. Hello, Matt, from CT. I love when fans tell us who they are and where they're from. Connecticut, I hope you're a, you go to some of the NASCAR home tracks like Stafford Motor Speedway up in Connecticut. I used to frequent Connecticut a lot. Stafford Motor Speedway, Thompson Speedway, Waterford Speed Bowl on the coast. And of course, back in the day, Riverside Park in Agawam, Massachusetts before Six Flags ruined it. I'll step off my soapbox now. Kyle Busch's M&M's peanut ride. Man, this paint scheme is nuts. Yes, this, this, is, this show is going to the ham basket. This is, <laughs> Chuck Bush just stopped and <laughs> he's shaking his head. Oh, we're in trouble here. Oh, we're having a good time though. Let's see, uh, some great uh, 18. Uh, Matt, uh, I don't know, Mateus. 264-8675309. Um, man, these screen names, man, they got those big numbers. Wanted to see this 18. And McGregor, I saw KK's car. Need Carl now, please, thank you. Greetings from Eastern Ontario. Yeah, Ontario. Met some people uh, just the other day in Sedona, Arizona from Thunder Bay, Ontario. A lot of Canadian people down here in this area. Down to visit the race too because it's really cold up there, so why not come to a NASCAR race? Hey, there is Casey Kane walking by the farm's insurance car. It's loud. The Zest Fully Clean car getting Zest Fully Clean right now by a crew member. Uh, folks, yeah, that might say Meguiar's or whatever the bottle says, but it is Zest inside. So, of course, because what else is gonna make a car cleaner? Or a driver cleaner. Ricky Stenhouse, uh, you can bill me for that sponsor plug. <laughs> Laura Borkowski says, kiss the 88 car for me. I don't know about that one. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure if we're going to kiss the uh, car. I don't know if uh, that would be approved by NASCAR, but maybe we'll have Chuck Bush do it. Chad Robe, be very quiet. Car's sleeping. Let me tell you something. Nothing's sleeping here in the garage area right now, okay? It's loud. I have a little, like, Britney Spears headset mic on. That's the only reason you guys hear me. Sometimes you notice you can hear me better than the drivers. Well, that's because I've got a great mic on right now. Oh, we're at the other side of the garage area, the main, main street. Let's just call it Main Street. Okay, Brindle Zeke. Hey, from Nova Scotia. Oh, Canada. Go Casey Kane. Are you from near uh, Shubenacadie, Nova Scotia? One of my favorite towns in, in Nova Scotia. Of course, uh, home of the former Shuby Shuttle, RIP. Scott Frazier, a great race car driver. Here is the Geico machine, the number 13 Chevrolet. Jamie Mack in his car right there, the Cessna number one. Let's get rolling here. We have five minutes left. Wow. That last 10 minutes went fast. Here's everybody's favorite sweetheart, Tony Stewart, walking by in the garage area. Passing by Chris Devota to show you the hardworking 16 bunch here, the 3M pit area, working hard. They didn't have the day they wanted to yesterday. None of the Roush cars seemed to have that strong of a day yesterday. So these guys working really hard. Yesterday was great because even if you didn't have your stuff right, you have another whole day of practice here to get it right. 
for this weekend. And then, of course, about 75% of these races almost are run on 1.5s. Here is the number 99 machine of Carl Edwards. Carl's already strapped in here. Am I an early bird? You are an early bird, so you get the worm. But uh, hey, uh, did you see any snakes or worms or anything? I heard you went hiking, dude. Yeah. What's up with that? hiking. It was more like suffering. Suffering? No, we, we had a good time. We went to, uh, we hiked the Grand Canyon, went all the way down to the river. Really? And, and came back. David Gillen did went with see? us. Did you see? Oh, okay. I was going to ask. He said he was kind of scared at night, though. I'll tell you what. He's a beast. That guy, uh, <laughs> he can do it. And uh, uh, also, Jason Hedleski went. Oh, your spotter, yeah. He has a lot of fun. Tonight, I'm, I'm doing something even, even more uh, precarious. I'm, I'm actually... Going to be on stage with Jeff Hammond at the Orleans Casino. Yes, I saw that. You know, you see all these big uh, stars here in Vegas. They get the names on marquees. And I drove by Orleans, and it said, appearing tonight, <laughs> Carl Edwards. I mean, that was you've, – you've arrived, buddy. That's cool. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm, I'm excited to see that. So, yeah, we'll be at the Orleans tonight if people want to come by. I think it's it's free to everybody, and it's really cool they're letting us do that. So we'll, we'll have a good time. It went really well last year. And, um, and yeah, and my legs are almost uh, healed up. I, I'm, I'm doing great. So. <laughs> They're doing good. There they are right they there. They were shaking, man. It was, it was a long hike. Had a lot of fun. All right, Carl Edwards, we'll let him get ready in this number 99. And bringing back a chassis that they like a lot because they finished fifth here. Fifth, actually, in Kansas with this chassis. A lot of new cars being brought by teams across the garage area. Here's the FedEx number 11 machine. Here's Matt Kenseth's number 20. We look at MK here in the garage area. Let's 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 motor around here. Show you some other cars. Here's Jimmy Johnson's machine. Hey, Jimmy Johnson's another driver that not is not bringing a new car here this weekend. Jimmy Johnson, this Lowe's car here for the Cobalt 400. This is a car that they won with in Charlotte 2013. So bringing a car like familiar, like, like a good set of sneakers that are broken in. <laughs> Milton Spracklin, Garage Kit Rocks. You rock too, Milton. Here's the number 22 machine right over here, Joey Logano. Joey Logano. Yeah, the, the Penske cars did not have a ton of speed maybe yesterday in the test, but talking to some people on this team, and on the two car, they were trying out a lot of things. They had a plan going into this test, and it wasn't to top the speed charts. It was basically to make some adjustments, and that's what that test was about yesterday. It wasn't exactly about being on the top of the speed chart, so don't be fooled by some of these teams that weren't on top. But this car right here was on top, the number four. The leader in yesterday's practice session, Kevin Harvick, Jeff Gordon's car, the Service King, number 24. See some of your requests for some of these drivers, including Kevin Harvick. Somebody just said Carl was awesome. Who was that? Bam Bam, Bam Bam. Denny Hamlin, Virginia, in the house, says Brian Ruffton. I love giving you all shout outs. You gotta love the guy that'll take time to talk, says DK. DHKB1118, and that's uh, obviously referencing Carl Edwards. As we see Kevin Harvick climbing into his car shortly. Walk over here, we got two other cars to show you that we can't leave out. And here's a guy in this number two car that our own Alan Cavana picked to win this week. And that is Brad Keselowski on the preview show with Marty Snyder. I love the preview show. I love watching it. Keselowski, a strong run in Phoenix for the Blue Deuce crew. And there is the Miller Lite number two. Motor around some of these camera guys right here and give you a look at the guy who has an average finish. Hey, folks, are you ready for this amazing mathematic genius here on Garage Cam? An average finish of 1.5. Yes, a win and a second place for Dale Earnhardt Jr., the number 88 bunch. And you see the fans on top here at the Neon Garage looking down at their favorite driver's car, the National Guard, number 88. One of the hottest drivers in NASCAR right now. 
the Kickstart Your Night, Mountain, uh, uh, Mountain Dew Chevrolet for Hendrick Motorsports. Man, we are just minutes away right now. You can feel the energy change usually within a few minutes. There's Paul Wolf, new daddy. Congratulations to Paul. Of course, missing last week's race at Phoenix. You know what's really cool about our sport? The accessibility. Check this out. Dale Earnhardt Jr. is really enjoying himself this year. And right now, he's signing autographs at the back of his pit stall for a bunch of fans. Oh, and the cars are starting up. That means we're going to show them rolling out, and we're going to wrap it up here on Garage Cam. There is the number two. We got a motor on down here. Show you some cars. It's a different kind of pattern here, so we might not see a big long line of cars rolling out. A lot of cars have already rolled out there. But we do want to tell you to tune in to NASCAR.com Garage Cam coming up in just a short bit here on NASCAR.com slash Garage Cam, and we'll have NASCAR Nationwide Series Garage Cam. And tune in later this week. You can see the uh, Cobalt 400 on Fox Live, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. So hey, until next time, we'll see you at the races.